Right. So uh, in today's session, I'm going to discuss about uh, the focus, especially in context to the uh, Agile point of view, whenever we are working on Agile implementation. Uh, at the same time, enterprise level transformation in context to the organization enterprise level transformation and all. It's always important for us to understand about the focus of the project versus product of the focus, product focus, because project majorly deals with services and all, right? So different for a particular customer, what are the services we are coming, we are providing, right? All these things are comes under the project focus. But whereas when it comes to the product focus, majorly focusing on the vision of the product, what we want to deliver on that. So in this regard, it's always important for us to understand about the focus towards product versus product, project versus product. This is what something which I'm explaining to you. Now, the first point when it comes to the project focus itself is concerned, whatever the team were implementing, the team focusing more on the uh, delivering of a fixed scope of the project because it depends on the customer business problem, what they have given. Whatever the solutions are we going to give will be of fixed in terms of the size itself is concerned. So it's a fixed scope of the project where team have a little involvement in defining the product strategy, etc. Right. So we don't see much importance in context to the involvement of product strategy because this is not something a product we are developing. So this is in context to the services we are providing the customer. This is where generally this project focus and all everything comes into picture. So we are providing a particular solution for a particular customer against to the problem they are facing. <clears throat> so delivering the scope of the delivering the work, what we are doing to do, right? Project is completely a fixed uh, scope, right? Fixed scope project is what something was that. Now, when it comes to the product focus, product majorly focusing on the vision and as less strategy. Because if you're developing a product based on the market conditions, market demands, market expectations, market needs and all. So we come up with some products, right? The different, different products will be coming up with. So hence, it's always important for us to know about the strategy, the vision and the strategy of the product and what is that we want to achieve. In order to understand the kind of strategy which is captured by the uh, on the product roadmap as a sequence of objects like what are the business outcomes the kind of product features which must be aligned to the strategy roadmap and vision this is all majorly product focuses now the second point in comes to the project focus majorly whatever the kind of waterfall models and all everything we do right so there is no discovery as such because whatever is in reality whatever customer is facing implementation will be done in it right so this is where generally waterfall process is what something we focus but whereas when it comes to the product focus is concerned what are the project management team across functional teams performances product discoveries everything happens continuously in regular intervals together as well now when it comes to the project focus majorly focuses on uh, the team members like coding team, testing team and all. So decisions will be taken by the project management team where it is majorly focusing on the duration perspective, right? So for the team to uh, execute the project, whatever is required for the customer. But when it comes to the product, it's a cross-functional teams with having some domain knowledge which empowers to make uh, the kind of product decisions. So wider understanding over the product is what something this cross-functional teams required. Because whereas in, when it comes to the project focus, we don't have it. But when, when we are coming under the product focus and all that, so cross-functional teams understanding from the perspective of cross-functional teams is always important. So that it will be useful to make some product decisions and solve the problems. At the same time, whatever the teams I may stating in context to the product is completely based on the focus towards achieving the business outcome in context to the business goal and vision, what was defined for a particular product. Now, when it comes to the project focus, again, team have little incentive to improve. But whereas when it comes to the product and all, it's a continuous improvement because it depends on the market needs and demands, expectations and needs and, exp and uh, requirements and all. There is a possibility where we have to update our uh, 
product is which is a continuous thing right so team has to be focused more on the continuous effectiveness of the work is what something will be required next when it comes to the project focus whatever the delivery uh, deliverable specifications or the contracts and all everything were very limited and standard depends on the requirement given by the customer but whereas when it comes to the product and all it is developed incrementally wherein we are trying to understand and learn what are the different different feedbacks based upon the uh, development we did right so what are the feedbacks we have received based on the continuous increments on the product is what something we do now when it comes to the project focus again it's majorly project centric metrics right whatever the scope whatever the budget whatever the times and all everything were fixed which is confined to the particular client or a customer but uh, it's majorly uh, it's very uh, tightly coupled i can say but whereas when it comes to the product focus it was not the case uh, it's majorly uh, teams measure what kind of business outcome are we expecting using what are the key performance indicators like business kpis and all based on that key performance indicators is it really achieving the business outcome or not is what something we see based on that we see whether is this can be extended to the next level or not will be decided by the team accordingly. Next, when it comes to the project focus, multiple stakeholders will drive the vision and strategy and backlog because this is confined for a particular uh, client, all that. But whereas when it comes to the product focus, it's focused more on the product manager because product manager uh, have the people who owns the vision strategy of the product backlog, right? So they has to keep this in reality by creating some product scope, right? So um, roadmap, product roadmap and all everything will be created by the product manager. So this is all something will be taken care of by the product manager here. Next, when it comes to the project focus, whatever the funding and all everything is applied for a particular individual projects. But whereas when it comes to the product focus itself is concerned, whatever the funding are we applying for team's capacity, which need to support the team. Because whatever the <clears throat> funding we do depends on the complexity of the project, how it is. Depends on the complexity of the project, product, what we are developing and all. This funding and all, everything will be applied based on the team's capacity. This is how we need to differentiate between the focus of project versus product is all about. So this is all about the session today. If you have any questions, if you have any queries. Uh, followed by any teaching, tra training as well as teaching needs, please reach out to the contact details which will be posted in below to this video. Thank you.